Yeah, and then her blood pressure on pressure station was 68, 36 mm mercury. Yeah, she had a pulse of 102. I grew up here in Liberia, in the capital city, Monrovia. When I was growing up, I woke up one morning, and my sister was on the floor whispering to me. And she says, oh, you can get up, but you have to roll on into the floor. You can't stand up. What I didn't realize was happening was that someone was trying to take over the government. So you couldn't be seen by the window. It's potentially you could be shot. We had a fantastic life here. We were very comfortable. But my parents made that sacrifice for us to go to the U.S. And, you know, we were lucky to leave before the start of the Civil War. At the time, I didn't know these things were happening. I was just kind of happy to be going to school. It was only after I joined the Navy at 18 that I really kind of started to understand the war. On deployment, my ship went to Brazil. I met a Liberian who was in Rio. And that's why I was like, wow, that's when I really first realized how displaced people were doing the war. So after that deployment, I wanted to work with like refugees and displaced people. Good morning, how are you doing? That's how I started turning to medicine. Does it be tingling too? Yeah, very yeah. normal. I feel that like normal. Oh, yes. For how long do you think? Mm. Yeah. I used to clean toilets in the Navy before when I first joined. It's been completely amazing to have come up through the ranks and be a doctor. Yeah, they need to watch that fluid. Yeah. She's really wet on the right side. The military has a tropical medicine program where we go to uh, several countries, work with the local doctors on how to uh, manage diseases. Yeah. India, Thailand, Brazil, Tanzania, Honduras. I've been to almost 40 countries. And then, then it's gone a direction I haven't thought it would go which is to bring me back home. The whole nation as a whole, I don't think, has healed. That's why I feel like I must come back and help. When I took over the position as the director of the program, I established a field mission here so I could bring doctors here. My name is Dr. Declan T. Adams with the U.S. Navy. I'm a naval officer. I've been fortunate to come to Phoebe to work, bringing a team of doctors to observe tropical medicine cases. When people think about Liberia, they think about our civil wars and they think about Ebola. I want to do something about that. Imagine being in the shoes of some of these doctors and nurses who are treating people every day. Some places not having gloves, not having medications in the pharmacy. We're trying to build capacity and capability for our, the hospitals that we work with. And we'll also provide academic exchange. So the first lecture is medical waste. 
That's so we give some lectures, they also give us some lectures. We do everything, we have two doctors assigned to me. You know, just trying to have a positive influence on people's lives. I still feel that I'm not doing enough because I'm only here two weeks. But I do use medicine to accomplish other goals. Sometimes I bring books. Sometimes it's like an art or a literature workshop. This time I'm, I'm funding like a dance contest. Anybody that wants to dance? Come on stage and dance. So even though I, I give myself a hard time about not doing enough, I also appreciate that doing something small is also impactful. You think about the military, you think about the Navy, you think about conflict. I didn't know about all the global health engagement activities we're involved in. And it's been a pleasant surprise. It's been a wonderful experience and opportunity to come back home. But um, I hope Liberia gets to a point where it's not relying on development and aid. Where it's just self-sufficient. to get all the experiences that I have around the world and get him to come home. I realized that sometimes all it takes is one act in somebody's life to change the course of their life. And so that's why you can't stop. Because you don't know what act it's gonna be. My name is Nikanti Adams. I'm an infectious diseases physician in the United States Navy.